Dear family, friends, and colleagues, this is episode number 39 in our series, Enhancing Human Relationships Through the Fourth R, The Relationship Skills. And my name is Richard Solomon, and I will describe how to enable people to easily and enjoyably, enjoyably participate, discuss, and listen to the thoughts and ideas of group members whom they may not know very well through using a discussion ball. Indeed, this fourth R group relationship building is called discussion ball. Now let's first examine different types of balls that you could utilize when implementing discussion ball. You can do a Spalding ball, you can do a beach ball, depending upon the skill level of the participants. You can even do a Nerf ball. And you can do a tennis ball. Okay, so let's get back to the Spalding. And let's go over the steps, the four steps in implementing discussion ball. Now, in step number one, the group leader invites all members of the group to form a circle. And members can stand or they can be seated. That's a determination the group leader would make. And in step two, group leader says that this is a very, very special ball. It's a magical ball that we are going to use today. It's called a discussion ball. And it's magical because anyone who holds it or catches the discussion ball can speak on any topic up for discussion. Now, only members who hold the discussion ball can speak. But first, let's practice how to properly toss, roll, and catch the discussion ball. So they practice discussing, I mean, passing and tossing discussion ball so they do it properly without any mistakes. And that's, now let's go to step three in, in the activity. In this case, we're using the Nerf ball. In step three, after practicing how to properly toss, roll, and catch the discussion ball, the group leader poses a question to the members of the group. For example, he might or she might say, why did you join this group? Or what do you hope to get from being a member of this group? Then the group leader gives all members some time to think about the question that he posed or she posed. Let's say gave, gives everyone 15 seconds and invites members to form pairs to discuss the question for a minute or so. Okay, so that's step number three. And step number four, we'll be practicing, let's say, with a tennis ball. When all members seem prepared to discuss the question posed by the group leader, he or she first announces the name of a person in the group, carefully tosses or rolls the ball to that person, and invites him or her to share his or her answer with the group. When the speaker has completed his or her statement, he or she can toss or roll the discussion ball back to the group leader or announce the name of the next speaker in the group. Of course, all members of the group have the right to simply pass the discussion ball to another member, not share their thoughts, ideas, or feelings. But they must first say, I pass this discussion ball to X, which is another member of the group. And by the way, the discussion ball activity is generally well received by most people because they want to learn how to share information in groups. They enjoy tossing a light ball around and I gave them cognitive behavioral time, which is time to think about what they want to say. And we also gave them behavioral rehearsal time, time to practice speaking in pairs before sharing information with the entire group. So let's go back to the beginning. And we invite you to play discussion ball with the members of your family, your friends, your colleagues, your teammates, 
and your work makes, meets. If you wish to get a copy of the steps for Discussion Ball, you can take a screenshot of the steps when you go onto my Facebook page. And if you have any questions or feedback about this fourth R group relationship building activity or about our series, you can send your comments to me at this email address, rdsolomon, phd at gmail.com, or you can share your feedback on my Facebook, my YouTube, or my X accounts. In our next episode, we will discuss a variation on Discussion Ball, which I call Discussion Ball with, just a moment, with the numbers procedure. Okay. As always, Jackie and I deeply appreciate you taking the time to watch our videos and you're sharing your feedback in this series. Enhancing Human Relationships through the fourth R, the relationship skills. So we look forward to seeing you next time, and thank you so much for being a part of our program.